Hey guys, it's me Heather and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my favorites. Um, I haven't uploaded one of these probably in a couple months, so like two or three months or so. So I thought I've got lots of stuff here that I'll be using consistently, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we're going to start with, I was in a local Sally Beauty and if you can't tell, <laughs> my hair has changed colors many times and so it's quite damaged and so I was like I've tried Sephora and Ulta and Walgreens and Walmart and Target I want to see what they have that may help my hair get back to life so um, I picked up first which I'd never seen but once I got home and put it on YouTube it's been out for quite a while I guess so um, at least since the beginning of the year maybe um, this is cream of nature with argan oil it's the plex breakage defense and it's like a three-step system so you get the treatment and then you can get the shampoo and conditioner but I only wanted this one because this one it's the bond mender pre-treatment reinforces weak bonds and fills in fragile strands reminded me a lot of step three from Olaplex which I've used many times I do enjoy it I think I've come to a point where maybe I've used it too much or I, it's not helping me so I have stepped away from it for probably about three weeks or so um, as far as the step three <clears throat> and I'm trying this which I have really been a fan of and it was six dollars for 5.1 fluid ounces yeah so it was six ninety nine, five ninety nine, something like that so it was very cheap it comes in a pump which I love you get quite a bit um, I've been using it I don't use it every time I wash my hair but it says for damaged hair I think you can use it twice a week um, so I split it up I do it like once a week uh, just on the ends of my hair where it's all fried because I'm gonna get a cut but I'm fighting it <laughs> also I picked up this uh, generic smoothing serum it's compared to the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum um, reduces drying time all that fun stuff but I do like it because I don't want to have to blow dry my hair because it is damaged so I put this on leave it on and my hair will it dries pretty fast um, air dry but whenever I have to hit it with the heat it's just like out <laughs> done so I really like that I'm a big fan again every video you pick up um, I think seven dollars or so it wasn't too bad um, and then this was in the with the children's products it is can to care for kids conditioning detangler and it says no sulfates phthalates parabens or mineral oil if you smell this line you will know why I was because I was sniffing everything and then I was like I need a good leave-in because my hair has a natural curl to it it's not obviously not this curl but it has a natural wave to it and so when it air dries I like for it to be wavy but I don't want it to be frizzy and this stuff has really worked really well you can see that I've been loving it it smells amazing it works really good and get the big comb through it and I don't have to worry about it so if you're looking for something again that's can't you for kids and they may have it for adults but why bother when that one smells amazing <laughs> Um, also, I have been loving, and I know, get ready, insert eye rolls from everyone. <laughs> Let's get, um, it's the Cali Skin, Cali Jenner. This one is the Vanilla Milk Toner. First, the packaging is amazing, and it just pops up, and you put it on your cotton pad, and then just rub it all over your face. I use this in the morning, um, or if, like... I'm you know, taking my shower the night before, I do my skincare routine, and then I'll get ready for a couple hours. This is a great, just to run over my pores, um, anywhere where I normally sweat, to kind of clean that out again, and make sure that's clean as it can be. Um, I really like it. I have sensitive skin, acne prone skin, and this has not broken me out. Notice, it's got a very faint scent, it's not. But I do like it, I'm impressed. I was kind of scared, so I started with this. I may check out some other products, for, but for right now, this is this is doing me good. Um, this has been in several videos, but I'm almost out, so I have to mention it. It is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Setting Spray, and it works. If you have oily skin, if you have oily T-zone, it works. I mean, whatever little magic that is in here, it works. So I spray it before I do my makeup and then after, and I just try to hit just my T-zone. Um, you can spray your setting sponge like I will hit my sponge with it and kind of touch up um, or when you apply your makeup so you're getting it wet with whatever formulas in here I really like it um, 
Yeah, it says it's a waterproof setting spray with ultra matte finish, and that is exactly what it is. So, I am a big fan of that. <laughs> this has also been several favorites, but not recent favorites, I don't think. But I am, um, you can barely see it, but it is, there it is. It is below the line now. It is my Pixie Blow Tonic that they sent me that has my name on it. And does it say how big this one is? Uh, this is your big boy. Oh, here it is. 17 ounces. So I am more than halfway through my 17 ounces of Pixie Glow Tonic. I use this every day, if not every other day, for sure. Like, I cannot not have it because I have textured skin. I have acne prone skin. So all those little bumps that come up on my face, this is there for me. I will keep this little bottle and refill it with all my little minis that I have or um, if I'll go to Target and buy some more when I run out, but I love this stuff. So the pump just makes it, I can just take the cotton, psh, psh, done, love it. So if you're, um, if you have textured skin or you're looking for a little bit more glow, the glow tonic, I mean, you can't, don't, don't try, you can't do better. <laughs> um, another skincare, this is the Flora and Best based, don't know, <laughs> age adapting facial serum and it has 1.5% full spectrum cannabis, cannabis complex and that is what it looks like it is that sephora i think like barney's oh boy it's being flushed out there um i think it's at barney's places like that schmancy uh but it works you can see here that i have been using it i have sensitive skin and i'm red i get red here so you'll see like when i do my videos if i just touch my face it just gets all red and inflamed um and then I have acne, so it stays red. This does not make, does not give me acne. It does not make it worse. And where it's dry and my face just kind of hurts from um, applying all the acne treatments and stuff, this just works. My face isn't red. It's not sore. It's not sensitive. Um, I love it. So it's amazing. They did send this to me, just FYI, but it is amazing. And it works great. And I love it. So I'm glad to have that. And the lid's not on. I could have dropped close call um these are two primers that i have been loving one i did a whole video on so i'm not going to speak too much on it but you can go back a couple videos and watch that i'm trying to decide if i like this lipstick i don't think i do but i'm already like seven minutes into a video so <laughs> it's too late so sorry um all right so the first primer is the elf jelly pop dew primer and i know you're thinking heather you just said you have all this skin you say it in every video but this is just go watch the video where I talked about it. It has a tack to it. It gets kind of tacky and sticky. So you put it, I just put it where it get oily and where I have pores. And it just makes the makeup stick to it. It does, it's not sticky like once it dries. But if you put your makeup on, your foundation on it, and you put set it with the powder, oh, that's so good. <laughs> Man, we'll get that back later. I don't know where that went. But it has a little pump. I use it all the time and it's just not going anywhere because I just take a little bit, put it out there. Um, then if you have large pores, this Ren Perfect Canvas Clean Primer, next level good. Like, um, sorry, I keep my phone's flashing. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, so anyway, so this Ren Perfect Canvas Primer it comes in a little dropper and it says like two to three drops. I don't use that much, but you just put it and then you take it and you just, like that was more than enough. And I just push it where I have pores here and where my, I want my makeup to just kind of go on very smooth. It just absorbs really nice. It gives a beautiful finish to your makeup. It doesn't clog my pores. Um, you know, I am <coughs> pushing 40, <laughs> pushing it real hard. And uh, so my under eyes are quite dry and I have fine lines forming there. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, um, I put it under here and it just makes everything beautiful. It gives a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finish. Ren was so kind and sent this over. This will take me forever to use, but I have been, anybody who's around me when I'm doing my makeup or who's asking me about my makeup, I'm like, what kind of skin you got? What's your problem? Because you got pores, I got you. If you got oily skin and dry skin, I got you. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a primer, that was a long, <laughs> that was long-winded. Also a favorite um, from Pure... It's the Pure Barbie collection. Um, it's a little, isn't it, isn't it just beautiful? This is their, what's they, what do they call it? Um, signature highlighter palette. 
but I use this middle shade here with mixed with a little bit of that and I just say who needs blush because it gives me a beautiful sheen and I just love it love it love it love it I think it'll look great on all of a compliment so many skin tones and you get this beautiful pink packaging I also have the eyeshadow palette and I do love it I just have so many palettes that I don't know last but not least final favorite <laughs> is my Huda Beauty nude rich palette first dig of that packaging right I mean And that is what it looks like. I did also pick up, I think it's the nude medium palette. Um, I was like, it came from Sephora and I was looking at them and my friend was here and she was like, oh, the medium's so beautiful. And I was like, okay, you can have it. <laughs> so now I have this one. Um, because that, those tones were much more her and these are much more me because they're darker and dramatic and it's not that I can't steal it back from her, so. Um, but, oh gosh, it's beautiful, I love it. As you know, my favorite. My girl is Huda, and this is my favorite palette, but I have hit pan in so many colors. <laughs> I'm like, this is, I'm going to start, I can combine them for a while maybe, until I have to, have to, have to go and buy the, a new nude palette, but yeah, so if you are debating these, I think they're 29 now, they were 27, yeah, or they were 25 and now they're 27, I know they've gone up like two bucks, so um, worth it. I mean, it's Huda. They're great. They're beautiful. They go on every time. Just exactly how you want them. The what would it be if the dogs didn't make an appearance? Or at least grunt in the background. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, as always, I'll leave that down below. I'm um, trying to be better about filming. Like, I get up and do my makeup every day, so why not? Why not, Heather? Why are you being lazy? Why are you talking to yourself? All right, so I will see. I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.